uh, this is Leelavati, Assistant Professor in Commerce. In this video, I am going to discuss about the concepts of short term capital gain and long term capital gain. So, what are the examples for short term and long term capital gains? So, under that, we have to know first of all thing short term capital gains. For example, Mr. Janaka is a salaried employee in the month of December 2019. He purchased one uh, hundred equity shares of um, X Limited at rupees uh, one thousand four hundred per share uh, from Bombay Stock Exchange. So this shares were sold in Bombay Stock Exchange in August two thousand twenty twenty at rupees two thousand per share. Securities transaction tax was paid at the time of sale. What will be the nature of capital gain in this case? So, in this um, example, they are given the so uh, salary employee. Uh, they will be a uh, purchase a hundred equity shares in X Limited uh, at rupees thousand four hundred. So, he was uh, purchased from the Bomb Exchange, uh, Bomb Stock Bombay Stock Exchange. Uh, so, in this, so so that share should be. Uh, shares uh, sold at uh, August 2020. Okay, 2020 20, he sold rupees 2000, 2000 per share. So, in this association, security transaction tax was paid by him only. Then, uh, what will be the nature of capital gain uh, in case of this uh, association? See, shares were purchased in December 2019 were sold in August 2020 so that is sold after holding them for period of less than 12 months hence um, the gain will be short term capital gain so section um, 111 is applicable in case of short term capital gain arising and transfer of equity shares are units of equity oriented mutual funds are unit of business trust uh, which were transferred on the honor after 1-10-2004 through the recognized stock exchange and such transaction is liable to securities transaction tax. So then if the conditions of section 111 are satisfied then the short term capital gain is termed as a short term capital gain covered under the section 111 such gain is charged a tax at 15% plus char surcharge and assess as applicable. Then, in given cases, uh, the shares were sold after holding them for less than 12 months. Shares were sold through a recognized stock exchange and transactions was liable to short-term capital gain. Hence, the short-term capital gains can be termed as a name short-term capital gain covered under section 111 such short term capital gain will be charged to the tax at 15 percent then plus surcharge and cesses are applicable so in this question uh, see another situation uh, mr kunal uh, age of 59 years equity and resident though he is a retired person earning a monthly pension of rupees 5000 he purchased shares of uh, spi limited in December 2019 and sold same in April 2020. Sold in Bombay Stock Exchange under short term is levied. The taxable short term capital gain amount to rupees uh, two uh, two lakh um, twenty thousand. The part from pension income and gain and sale of shares he is not having any other income. What will be his uh, tax liability for the year? 2020 21 so see here the basic exemption limit in case of uh, rup uh, rupees 2250000 2, after adjustments of pension income of rupees 60000 from the exemption limit of rupees 2250000 2, the balance will come to rupees 190000 the balance of rupees 190000 will be adjusted again at short term capital gain the total short term capital gain on sale of shares is rupees uh, 220000 
and the available exemptions limit after adjustments of pension income uh, is rupees one lakh ninety thousand. Hence, the balance of short-term capital gain left after adjustments of rupees one lakh ninety thousand will come to rupees thirty thousand. The gain of the rupees thirty thousand will be charged to tax at fifteen percent plus cess at four percent. Thus, the tax liability before cess will come to rupees. Uh, Four thousand five hundred. Since the total income of Mr. Kunal is up to rupees uh, five lakhs, so he is eligible for rebate available under Section eighty seven A. Rebate shall be limited to taxpayers or rupees and to twelve thousand five hundred, whichever is less. Thank you.